Yeah, what's up guys? This is Asunox. Arena PvP at the, with the team at the table. Uh, this team is amazing. I'm in champion now. Uh, let's see if we can climb a bit. I do have uh, seven flags. Let's see here. If you want to see my stats, uh, they are in the previous video covering this team. Okay, so uh, it's the same team that I use in my defense. So that's huge. I'm using speed memory imprints on Sid and Shuri to uh, boost the speed of uh, Challenger Domino. And uh, yeah, that's the anti-revive uh, team, right? Uh, because we have Sinful Angelica. So uh, now I'm not going to be too greedy. I actually uh, attacked, you know, uh, an assassin Sid on my previous uh, list. And uh, yeah, now I'm not going to be greedy on this one. This is going to be uh, an easy one to get outsped on some of these other... Uh, you know, players. Let, let me just refresh this list, actually. Let's see. Uh, this whole list, now, there's Cerise here. That's bad. She can outspeed me. Uh, what else? On this list, we have uh, Assassin Cartuja. He has Evasion, and that's bad for us because, uh, well, we need to guarantee the kill with Sid. You know, so I could put the artifact, the three-star artifact on him to uh, counter the evasion from uh, Assassin Cartuja, but I need the Portrait of the Savior to push the damage even further. You know, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm just gonna like attack these uh, some of these players here and uh, we'll see what actually happens. I'm not gonna be able to clear this whole list. It's not gonna be the same as Challenger or... I kinda have to be lucky with uh, who I'm actually encountering. It's hard to get a full list of like uh, teams that you know, I, I, maybe I should have prepared that before uh, filming, but whatever, we're just gonna wing it here. Pretty much how I roll. So, uh, yeah, so we initialize, it's all good, and their combat Judon as well, 77% on Bazaar. That is uh, very low. Why are they that high? Well, it's Arbiter Vildred. Arbiter Vildred is definitely uh, a great reason why. So let me actually attack uh, someone, which is gonna be Seaside Bellona here. I'm not gonna attack Arbiter Vildred because if I trigger a dual attack and I end up killing him before I get this thing up, boom, we're dead, right? Or, I mean, it's gonna be a terrible start. We're just gonna end up dying. So now I have to take out uh, Bazaar. He's the biggest threat because if he goes, he's gonna cripple us too much. I mean, take care. Like, he's gonna remove our buffs and we don't want that. The next biggest threat is uh, depends on the combat readiness. So now. Arbiter Vildred is next. Seaside is slow at 53% here. So basically, we have to worry about Arbiter Vildred. Like, we can survive Seaside. Sid, he's Earth. So even if she ends up, like, she triggers her passive plus she drops S3, we can potentially survive that on uh, Sid. But uh, let's attack Arbiter Vildred. Vildred, maybe he has Moonlight Dreamblade. Uh, didn't trigger. Like, I didn't check what artifact they had when we entered the game. But now, uh, there's only two targets, so we're not going to be getting that much... Uh, oh, well, no provoke here, but there's Seaside doing her thing. Now, well, we're going to be attacking a Seaside. And we're outspeeding. We have the dual attack. The problem is, the dual attack is actually going to be with uh, Shuri. So, yeah. The thing is... Look at this. If you look, Challenger uh, Domino, she's behind. At 72%, I have her Soulburn ready. So what I can do is attack, well, the other one, Fallen Cecilia. Get the crit so she goes next. Do the Soulburn, pop her. Sid was following anyways. That's how we fully abuse Fire Shuri. We, like, use his kit to our own advantage, triggering dual attacks with him with uh, Sinful Angelica allows us to lap the enemy team so often. It, it's beautiful. I love it. And uh, this team is uh, way more easy to uh, build compared to, you know, teams that do require ML5 or ML5s, you know, multiple ones. Very, very strong team. Uh, I love the double speed memory imprints. It's definitely helping a ton, especially with my Challenger Domino with 101 base speed, right? 101 base speed is ultra low. Ultra low for a combat readiness booster. But thanks to the two speed memory imprints, thanks to the fact that uh, the enemy team are, you know, on defense, they're not using speed memory imprints, I'm able to close the gap and outspeed and things like that. So, 
Now on team number two, what we have to worry about is Bazaar and ML Ken. So the first thing is I'm gonna pop ML Ken. Uh, I need to land a kill. I need to land a kill. Now on this, if uh, if Bazaar is real quick and he's able to cut in, maybe he goes first. Okay, he won't, but look how fast he is. He's at 93, we should be fine. It's not like a 98, 99. Let's look at how close Sid is to my sinful Angelica. The thing is, I actually, look, 90, you know, it's 96. Uh, I did boost his speed uh, recently, but then I dropped it a bit because I swapped a ring that gave him more damage. Uh, and, you know, so that, that's it. I, I could use more speed on my Sid. And his memory imprint is boosting uh, Sinful Angelica too. Here, let's uh, actually, uh, to be honest, let's uh, lower uh, Bazaar. Let's lower Bazaar. Uh, was that my charger? What is going on? One second. Alright, we are at 100% battery. It's all good. Okay. So I pop ML Ken and then maybe I one shot. Uh, maybe I one shot Bazaar with skill one. Maybe. I have portrait, so it does help. Wind Rider is great to increase your damage. Wow, his survival. The thing is, there's no knight in here, so yeah. Close, almost, almost. But you see, like, if I land a kill, because of the artifact that I have on my Shuri, I'm able to get combat readiness and push him to follow. Look at this. Spectre Tenebria, she's, uh, yeah, she's gonna go. They're not gonna be getting combat readiness here because they're, like, at 100% already. Now, hopefully... Okay, the stun is on fire, Shuri. Could be worse. Who's gonna be uh, taking this damage? It's the weakest, the one that lost the most uh, health. So, they're, they're, they're Shuri. There's Shuri's, like, he's gone. <laughs> There's Shuri's. <laughs> there is Shuri, there he goes, he's done. He's done, he's dead. But uh, it's all good, we got uh, 200 damage. Dealers, Sh uh, Challenger Domino, she's not built for damage, she's built to initialize with uh, high speed. Okay, this team was not, was not hard. It, it, when you don't get out sped, this team has a lot of options, so it's good. Now, team number uh, three here. I don't know if I'm gonna go with uh, some gambling, you know, uh, against some of these players when I see that they have some evasion. Uh, if I feel like, you know, they're gonna outspeed me. I don't know about this, like... I'm gonna attack this team because I've done it plenty of times. Hopefully this bazaar is not too quick. Uh, yeah, it, it's gonna be bazaar and then Arbiter Vildred. Okay, we are clearly outspeed. Once again, once again, uh, yeah, 83%. Is that the same player? 53% on that C side. This could be the exact same player. If it's not, that is strange. That is really strange, man. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna be attacking C side. Because like I said, I wanna, if I trigger a dual attack and I end up killing Arbiter before, the skill 3 of Sinful Angelica is going to be a disaster. I don't want that. Was it the same player? That's so odd. Okay, so Bazaar first. Definitely the top priority here. It's going to mess us real good. Yeah, the overkill on him. Um, it, it's going to be hard for him to have high speed and high survival, right? Uh, okay, so, so let's see if we kill him here. Oh, the dual attack, okay. The dual attack. Yeah, so we already got like a bunch of combat trainers. Uh There's the double combat trainers boosting to challenge the domino with her passive, right? She's getting 10% uh, combat trainers every time there's a critical hit happening against the enemy. And Shuri giving 25% combat trainers to the whole team beside himself. So that that's crazy, that is crazy. Uh, we're actually gonna be doing the soul burn here on C side. She's gonna survive and yeah. Um, Hopefully, oh, wait, 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 wait. Sid's here. Why take a chance? Why take a chance? Uh, I know Shuri is going to be the dual attack, so let's boost Sid to go and... Wait, what if he doesn't kill... What if he doesn't kill her? Oh my god, he doesn't have attack buff. Oh, oh, she, she was dead, I think. I think that, that, that was an overkill. Yo, what's up with these dual attacks? <laughs> I'm not going to complain, though. It's all good. It's all good. 
Oh, well, let's break the skill nullifier. Another thing I do love. Sashaitane is a very strong artifact. Very, very strong artifact for uh, rangers. Just some more free combat readiness. And uh, when you're using single target damage dealers, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. Now, team number four, five I can do. The thing is... I don't like that team number four. That team number four has Alina, so I can't use the AoE of Shuri because she's gonna trigger my Hara's Tone with her passive, boost her combat readiness, then put the uh, immortality on the whole team. I don't like that. So I, I have to pop Bazaar and then uh, Arbiter Vildred. Now there's gonna be, uh, he's, he must be carrying Moonlight Dreamblade on top of the evasion from uh, Assassin Cartuja. There could be a double miss. Uh, evasion also if we get unlucky with that there's one ice Shuri's not gonna crit less chance for him to crit less combat readiness if we land, don't land a kill on bazaar because of an evade it, it's done it is done <sighs> I, I'm so close to clearing the list right so I should have that's the thing you should open you should this is not a smart play to go after this team it's just not I might have to single target with uh, Fire Shuri just to uh, make sure I don't trigger Alina. So uh, okay, 89%. Again, low uh, low speed because Arbiter Vildred might be carrying. Okay, so... What to do here? Do we just... I, I think I have to gamble on that one. I have to start lowering Arbiter Vildred in case there's a miss. Just in case. But what if there's a dual attack? Exactly when you don't want the dual attack, right? Challenge Abdominal's damage is low. Okay. I get it's low, but man, he is squishy. My god, he He's almost at 50% health. He lost like close to 40%. That's a squishy arbiter. Okay. No evade. He's ready to die from that skill one, assuming we land the kill here. Let, let's see if we can kill Bazaar. Come on. If we land the kill, uh, we're pretty much set. We're pretty much set. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Pop him. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Well, do we give her combat readiness? Nah, there's no point to AoE. We're gonna, probably going to miss on her anyways. Let's start to lower him. He's going to go now. Okay, who is he going to attack? Sid, okay. And that's perfect. She's going to trigger the evasion. 100% evasion. Love it. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's turn on auto here. It's all good. It's all good. Well, she's pretty useless now by herself. Okay, that almost guarantees us that flag. Uh, assuming we're not getting outsped by team number five. Free flag, why not? We went from uh, seven battles to eight now. If, well, not now. We, we have to win. We have to win it. It's not set in stone. Oh my god, let's do it, man. Oh no, that's the AI. It's just following its uh, its rules, its pr procedures, right? It's just following the skill order. But that team, man, I, I love this team. It's so strong. Without Sinful Angelica, like you could replace her by Yuna. Challenger Donald, you could replace her by, by combat readiness booster. You're not going to be able to uh, build, you know, 50% crit or even, you know, 38% critical hit chance with triple S Challenger Domino is what you need, basically, on your team with the crit chance buff that gives 50%. It's crazy. It's so much value. So much value. Okay. This team is actually not that easy. This is not an easy team. I have to pop Bazaar. And then Charles, he could skill one into skill two. Sid, Sid could be gone. Sid could be gone. Okay, the out the out speed is real here. Uh, I I still haven't checked if that player that we fought. I I think it was the same player. 
Man, the combat unit, the speed was so close to like that other one. I mean, I think they're they're the same. Okay, here I do have it uh, to attack Charles in case we're not gonna gamble on that one. I could pop Charles first. That's the thing though. Let, let's if I play it safe. If I play it safe. Here's the deal. If I don't make it happen on Bazaar, uh, he's gonna go and mess us up. We're gonna lose. There, there's three threats to worry about. Bazaar has to die. So let's say I go uh, Charles, right? I pop him, he's dead. And then I've seen some tanky Charles, like they were baiting or something, like they're the bait in the team, build tanky or something like that. I pop Charles, I skill one Bazaar. He doesn't die because there's Barrier, plus there's uh, Aureus, uh, plus he's tanky. Let's say he's built slow, so uh, he doesn't have that much speed. Maybe he went for health percentage main stat on the jewelry, right? Uh, I don't even know. Maybe he, he's got survival on the boots on the main stat. I don't even know. So, Shuri could probably steal the deal, but then there's still uh, Arbiter Villager to worry about. He's slow at 57%. I kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try it. Let, let, let's try this. Let's try it. Because that's the safe play. That's the safe play. Okay. So, Shuri is ready to go. Uh, I think we're going to be able to lap uh, Arbor. As, if Bazaar doesn't die, that's another target to give us uh, more crit for Challenger Domino 2. Okay, let's see. Okay, he didn't die. If he doesn't die from the skill 3, oh my god. Okay. But she doesn't have the soul burn. She doesn't have the soul burn. Still, Sinful Angelica, she should be able to outspeed. Okay. She's gonna outspeed. We're still okay. But let's say Arbiter Vulture, he was fast, right? We, we couldn't do it. Oh my god, we're still gonna like, look at this, it's just crazy, this comp, look at, like, the lapping is so crazy, it's so crazy. Maybe I, I, I've been playing overly safe, I have to look at the whole te enemy team uh, combat children and see if, like, do I do the safe play of popping Charles first because I'm gonna be able to lap them because their Arbiter Vildred is super slow because that's usually how he's built. But there's also the Arbiter Vildred built quick. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this here, let's see, that player. Where's that player? Two hours ago, no. Are you kidding me? It, it was completely another team. The Seaside and the Bazaar had like pretty much the same opening speed. Look at that, it's, uh, it's a different team, different player. That's interesting. And it, it was different, uh, a different hero in there as the fourth. Anyways, uh, Ceri is hard to outspeed. Uh, Cecilia too, she's fired. This is uh, tanky stuff, she can wipe us out. I don't like that player number one. I can make two happen, but there's Charles. I have to pop ML Ken first. Charles could double tap Sid, I don't like that. Uh, I can do three. Oh, three is uh, four threats. That's that's another problem here. Amalekin has to die. And then Charles could double tap. Another problem. Mirsa, not good. I don't like this whole page. Let's 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 just refresh. Can I do this one? There's Kron in here. I can't do Kron. No, he he uh I could do it, but it's risky and I don't like that. It depends how he's built. And we could get out sped team number four. Yeah. I don't like this one too. But look at who was the issue here. It's Kron only. We only have three flags anyways. We're not going to be clearing that whole list. Okay, let's... Uh, that's the last refresh. ML Ken on team number two is going to be super tanky. He's got Barrier. He's got Crimson Armin. I have to pop him first. And I don't even, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, I kind of want to test the damage. I kind of want to test the damage. Let's find out if I can take him out. Uh, I can do over 20,000 against ML Ken. 
I can't usually like I can't I've seen some 20 to 30 thousand against him it really depends how much defense he's got but now he's got Crimson Armin you know Crimson Armin is here and then there's Bazaar if he's really fast 94 okay we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine you know what the thing is I might actually have to open on him let's soften his barrier maybe we lose challenger down let's see his damage Oh my god. Okay. Uh, looks like he's built tanky. She survived, so... Yeah, he, if he was built for... There's no way he's built for offense. I don't know if he's gonna die. But we did help with Challenger Donald. This could be what was needed to take him out. Let's see. How close is it gonna be? Oh, no, never mind. We got him. 21.2. But... You know, if he was built with 19,000, which might be the case, 19,000 health, after reforging with Crimson Armin, yeah, uh, Challenger Dono, it was a smart play to actually break the barrier here, I think. My oh my god, Bazaar is tanky. Bazaar is tanky. If we didn't land this defense break, I don't know. I think we, we, we might have failed here, but even, it's not even set. Uh, let's see the damage of Shuri. I might want to transfer gear onto him now if I fail this yeah he doesn't have my best gear I could actually increase his offense by quite a bit by putting my uh, my cleavers gear on him and that would actually be uh, very nice we don't want to deal with the mortality here uh, the invincibility okay let's just auto this now so ML can could have been really tanky after reforging you usually reforge your speed gear first you, you you know your best speed gear that's what you reforge first starting with the boots because that's a five speed guarantee plus other stats but maybe they are crazy about their ml can right and they just reforge his whole set so yeah okay well two more two more team number four is quite something I, i'm not gonna attack that because we have to worry about ml ken uh, there is no aureus on that one though there's no aureus so um uh, ken has to die first apocalypse ravi she's not that big of a deal uh, but yeah it's ml ken and then our uh, bazaar apocalypse ravi we can make it happen with dual attack lapping and all that but it really depends i fought some apocalypse ravi man that counter every damn time you attack her. I hate that. I don't know why it just happens to me. I kind of want to get it on tape here. Let, let, let's record this. Let's record this. Man, if it happens like it did happen in the past so many times when I'm not recording. Good lord. She has a 100% counter chance. That set she's wearing, I don't know. On defense, it's broken as all hell. I'm sure you guys have seen the save. I'm sure. Okay, here, we don't actually need to soften up, uh, yeah, let, let's let's attack Bazaar, because we want to kill with skill one with Sid. He's fairly tanky. So, Amalekian's the slowest, Apoch, Ravi, okay, let's see, uh, Amalekian first. Oh, he's gonna get destroyed for sure, look at that. 34,000. My Sid's plus 50. My whole team is plus 15 skill ups. Okay, Bazaar, he dies. There's no Aureus. Now we're getting less combat treated as here. Counter attack. No counter attack. Uh, hmm. This Apoch Ravi is pretty uh, squishy, actually. Oh my god! Sid! Okay, here comes the counter. But. Yeah, that, it's gonna be over. When when she gets the attack buff, and that's the thing. Last time I fought Apoch Ravi and she countered every time I attacked her, she had attack buff uh, from uh, DN it was or something like that. My god. Uh, she had immunity set too. So now I can potentially drop attack uh, break with uh, Sinfo Angelica, which is another uh, cool thing. But she has high effect resistance. I think she's built with high effect resistance. Yeah, this was uh, this was an easy one. Like, 
Yeah. You just take them out in order. ML can like, he can solo this whole team if you don't make it happen. Uh, yeah, he can definitely <laughs> destroy the whole team. No problem. Because Shuri doesn't have the... But the thing is, maybe with Duo attacking with Sinful Angelica and Shuri, uh, we could do it. If there's someone else alive, we can wait it out until skill 3 of Sid with the Soul Burn is ready. And then you can just, uh, you know, make it happen again, right? You could dodge him because you're going to lap him hard. But you cannot use skill 3 of Fire Shuri because he's going to counter. Uh, now, uh, five's greedy, three uh, is greedy, and it's not gonna happen. Uh, Dizzy could be on counter, uh, so I would pop her first. Team number one, actually. Team number one. Uh, pop Dizzy with Sid, then start working on Seaside. Don't use the AoE on uh, with Fire Shuri because uh, Magihara's Tome on uh, Elena. Dizzy, she's pretty quick. She is pretty quick. 86%, but still, like, outsped by far. That 86% is basically the speed memory imprints of my uh, Sid and Shuri. Uh, Shuri's at triple S and Sid's at double S. So, yeah. Okay, uh, not attacking Dizzy first because counter set. That would be a disaster. I'm sure you guys have all seen Dizzy on counter set and she somehow manages to stun a bunch of heroes, you know? She, Abyssal Crown on top of that? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, maybe she's on Illa's Violin, uh, dispelling your buffs. Okay, so uh, Dizzy first. There's no way she survives. And she did. And she did! She did survive! As I'm saying, there's no way she survives. I was like, wait, I think she can just survive. Yeah, she just survived. And I soul burn. How much survival does she have? Oh my God. Oh, oh, is she using the new mage artifact? I, I haven't checked what was popping up. I didn't check. Because the damage reduction on that artifact is actually... Oh my. I mean, if if I didn't have counter set to worry about, I could just attack her with Challenge of Domino to soften her up. But I don't want to risk that. I don't want to risk that. So one loss. That dizzy, man. Okay, let's let's look. Well, you guys let us know in the comment section if that was the artifact, right? Because this thing, if it does trigger, look at that. 20% chance to decrease damage received when attacked by 50%. That's huge. That is huge damage reduction. Add the barrier from uh, uh, Fallen Cecilia plus the Aureus. Well, I mean, the Aureus is not triggering, but she's getting the defense from the Aureus. Um, yeah. That, that could be it, man. Like, how did she even survive the attack of Earth Sid? And she's built with uh, quite a bit of speed. She's not crazy speed. That's why, like, I was like, she's not crazy speed. So, she could potentially. I'm like, why did I say that? Maybe she just survives. I think that, that was the key. Yeah. This is another la layer of randomness you have to deal with. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be seeing more dizzies with uh, this artifact. That's something you can't... You don't know. You don't know if it's going to tr trigger, you know? Uh, well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Austin Rocks. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for you notified when I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on a screen now. I got playlists of all sorts for PvE and PvP. Arena Guild Wars, guys. It's now 2 and a best for 62 plus, as well as best other guys for my early to mid-game players. Uh, join my Discord server. Over a thousand members if you want to get help or help the community. Stay home, guys. COVID-19 is no joke. Stay safe out there. Master Knox, good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.